So Ethereum is expensive, is slow, there's no argument there for sure. But of course, we don't have to wait for ETH 2.0 to roll out just to have cheap and fast transactions. We can actually make things a lot better right now with layer two solutions or side chain. So in this video, I'm going to go over some of the major players in the layer two solutions field, identify different solutions and also answer the ultimate question at the end, whether I think ETH 2.0 is going to kill all this layer two project. So if you appreciate this type of content, don't be afraid to smash up the like button and subscribe to the box mining channel. Without further ado, let's jump straight back to your topic. Gas fees are high because Ethereum is the most utilized blockchain network in the world. More and more people are using it. Therefore, we have to pay a high gas fee in order to get our transactions to go through. It almost like a bribe. If you want your transactions to go through sooner, you have to pay some extra money. You think you're better than the rest of the world? First of all, you need to show me a little bit of this. As a result, the gas fees become higher and unbearable to public for day to day use. And the surge in the popularity growth of Ethereum congested the network even more. So we just end up in a vicious circle. That's why all these layer two solutions got so popular in the past few months in the hope of getting faster and cheaper transactions. Layer two is a huge game changer and we are going to see a lot more competition between all these layer two projects. All these layer two projects are trying to solve the problems of Ethereum. This is helpful in the short term as it relieves the Ethereum network of congestion. In the long term, keeps the blockchain free of unnecessary transaction history. There are different scaling solutions, but those have been getting the most attention these days are sidechain and optimistic roll-ups. A very popular sidechain project is Polygon. It is a sidechain to Ethereum, meaning it will only interact with the main chain when it comes to updating the state of the ledger. Given it is an independent blockchain, it relies on its own consensus mechanism. Therefore, it has its own native token, which is the Matic token. Validators on the Polygon network will secure the sidechain and submit the state of the network back to Ethereum. So that's for sidechain. The next popular scaling solution I want to talk about is optimistic roll up. Well, actually, Polygon is working on set key roll up, but more on that in the future. Roll ups are very different as they actually within Ethereum as a series of smart contract which execute transactions and computations. The benefits of existing within Ethereum is that they can leverage the security of the main chain, so there's no need for a separate consensus method. The roll up aspect refers to the way that sidechain bundles many transactions to be committed to the main chain. And for optimistic, meaning the state changes are first published with minimum inspection and fraud checking, allowing for additional speed. That's why it's called optimistic. Any users can flag in follow updates though, with transgressor being punished by the protocol. Popular layer two projects that utilize optimistic roll ups are Arbitrum, Boba and Optimism. They all have the same goals of scaling Ethereum and reducing gas fees, but the public seems to favor towards Arbitrum a bit more. In fact, Arbitrum right now is the leading player of all layer two networks and has a total value locked of more than $2 billion. And that is a five X more than Boba or Optimism. All these layer two projects are all competing to one another for more applications. The more users, the more liquidity, therefore the more funds. However, each of these projects have slightly different features. First up, we have Arbitrum. It describes itself as a layer two solution designed to improve the capabilities of Ethereum smart contracts, boosting the speed and scalability while adding additional privacy features to boot. Arbitrum is the most EVM compatible layer two solution as of today. This makes it very trivial for developers to migrate existing Ethereum applications to roll offs because they don't have to rewrite the code. Next up with Optimism, it pledged to uphold the values of Ethereum by producing infrastructure that promotes the growth and sustainability of public goods. It converts Ethereum smart contracts to optimistic virtual machine and deploying them onto mainnet. 
OVM is almost fully compatible with Ethereum, meaning Synthetic won't have to change its code to deploy a smart contract onto OVM. And for Boba, it also has the same goal, but the good thing is it managed to strengthen the optimistic world of exit period from a few days to only a few minutes, while giving LPs incentivized yield farming opportunities. This is a very attractive feature indeed. With most other layer 2 projects, it's easy to send the funds to the platform, but when you withdraw your money, there you go, have fun waiting for seven days to withdraw your money. Withdrawal period is usually long due to potential fraud disputes, lack of interoperability, and the fragmentation of liquidity between different row ups. So, the fact that Boba managed to haggle this problem is magnificent. Of course, we are almost certain that we are going to move to ETH 2.0 in the future. As you may know, ETH 2.0 is an upgrade to the Ethereum protocol, and one of the major changes it will make is to change from proof of work to proof of stake. That means moving forward, there won't be any mining, but instead the network is secured by validators who stake the ETH to the platform. ETH 2.0 is currently slowly releasing and rolling out different phases, and ultimately, it will reduce the transaction fees drastically and speed up the transaction as well. So the ultimate question become, will Ethereum 2.0 make all these layer 2 solutions irrelevant? Well, there are different opinions in terms of the answer. However, I do think all of these layer 2 solutions can coexist in the future, and I'm going to tell you the reason why. As the ecosystem of Ethereum continues to grow and its use cases further develop alongside cheaper fees, assuming a successful transition to 2.0, which is no easy feat, Ethereum would still still need the help from layer 2 platforms to meet transactions demand. When I was doing my research, I found an interview with the Polygon co-founder, Sandeep Nelwal, talking about the extent of the network's adoption. During his interview, he explained that right now ETH 1.0 has 13 transactions per second. It will maybe go up to 20 after proof of stake, but not more than that. And let's say in 3 to 5 years, even if the sharding comes, we'll have a projection of 64 shards. And with each acting at 20 transactions per second, 20 times 64, you get 1,280 transactions per second overall, which is still not enough for the entire world. ETH 2.0 will for sure attract more transactions attention, which is the reason why it is more important to have layer 2 scalability. The truth is, ETH 2.0 doesn't provide Ethereum infinite scalability. There's no permanent solution for the traffic problems on the market, so layer 2 solutions will still be needed. When you have an other layer 2 solution, it means you have better speed, better scalability. Think of it like you have a very high horsepower car, but if you add a table to it, regardless of the horsepower already has, it's still going to be faster and better, right? So in one simple sentence, what I believe is that they do need each other. Ethereum needs all of these layer 2 solutions just as much as layer 2 needs Ethereum, and all of these layer 2 solutions are contributing to the Ethereum 2.0 success. So that's my take on Ethereum layer 2 solutions. Don't forget to have an amazing day and spend time with your loved ones. If you like this type of content, make sure you smash up the like button and subscribe for more. Follow me on the Crypto Gems YouTube channel and Instagram and Twitter for more regular updates and see you guys very soon.